Hello again everyone, I'm back and I got this evaporator in our warehouse here and I really want to kind of just go over it with you guys because it might tie into some of the previous videos on defrosting. Alright, so this is a low temperature uh, evaporator. As you can see it's made by Heatcraft, the model number is an LAT120BJ. That 120 represents 12,000 BTUs unit to 208, 230 volt system, one phase. Let's move on to the side here, check out some of our controls. So basically what we have here is um, we have our our junction box or junction block rather. It's just a place where wires kind of come together, nothing more than that. You got these two yellow um, devices here. These are basically a thermal disk type of thermostats. Uh, they're used, the top one there with the three wires, the red, black and brown is used uh, to fan, to delay our fan motor our fan motors and also to def uh, terminate defrost if you use that in your defrost uh, time clock. The one below it there is two wires, that yellow and white wire. That's basically a heater limit switch. So it's going to terminate our heaters if the heaters get stuck running for some reason and that temperature is exceeded. That'll open that circuit and de-energize our heaters. These all these black pieces here are the actual heaters for this unit. So if you look at Let's say this set here, and you follow them along, they run all the way down the length of the coil. This unit here has one, two, three, four heaters. Okay? So we'll explain a little bit more here on our next video, part two. Let's run to the other side right quick. Okay, so now we're on the opposite side of the coil. Here we have a basically, basically a service port. You can check suction pressure there. We have our liquid line solenoid valve, our expansion valve. On top of the expansion valve, we have this distributor. Okay, that equally that feeds the uh, each circuit of the evaporator. Uh, evenly and I'm rubbing on this thing because I feel it it's kind of oily which might indicate there might be a leak there so I need to check that out later on uh, we got our expansion valve bulb oh I'm sorry now this is bulb is for a thermostat here's our thermostat here okay and this is our expansion valve bulb okay so pretty basic Pretty easy to look at. Uh, it's nothing too confusing on here. Nothing that you can't figure out fairly easily with a little bit of uh, guidance or explanation if you don't already know. And so I'll come back and do a part two on this and try to go through each component uh, one at a time, a little more slowly, and hopefully give you an idea of how they how they function, how they work. Okay. So we'll be back here on the part two. Thanks.